When you follow my YouTube channel, I was busy with a uh, oscilloscope circuit. Very simple oscilloscope circuit, and it is here. And uh, I have to say, uh, had to say, stopped that development because I damaged my sine wave generator and. That is a final sine wave generator. It worked very good during many years. I paid in the past approximately 25 euros for that, but anyway. So I had to make a new sine wave generator and on the Lulu website you can find here this document about a sine wave generator that can work between approximately 20 hertz and 20 kilohertz, but when you do some experiments with the capacitors, you can go to 4 hertz up to approximately 33 kilohertz. And I will demonstrate it. So, uh, the, 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 the issue is in a certain way. By the way, you can you can buy this document on the Lulu website for say approximately 60 cents or 80 cents. I don't know that exactly. Uh, Lulu um, also uh, say has a voice regarding the uh, say the price for which such a document is. Salt. Anyway, uh, this is what I published in the past, and I will surely give a better demonstration about this here. Uh, uh, it's namely also now uh, that I made it in this video. So, anyway, uh, let's go to the Another picture of this, you can find these pictures in that document of approximately 80 cents or so, how to make it, etc. etc. Anyway, here are the waveforms, they are very pure by the way. It's a Wien Bridge oscillator. And when you search on the World Wide Web, you can of course everywhere see how a Wien bridge oscillator works. The waveforms are pure, pure enough, say pure enough for all kinds of measurements, etc. And these are, say, pictures of the document that I've published on the Lulu website. This is a power supply of this uh, sawtooth, sorry, sawtooth, a sine wave generator, and a sine wave in a generator has the say typical property that to get a very precise and pure sine wave, uh, the amplification must be one or so. So perhaps I'm wrong. Correct me when I'm wrong, but. When the amplification of, say, uh, a transistor circuit is too high, here again a photograph, when the amplification factor of, say, a transistor in an oscillator circuit is too high, uh, you will not get a sine wave but a square wave. These are perfect stages, but the most important thing is, of course, the circuit itself. So, I hope it's visible from this distance. Pen over somewhat to give a better view about all the component values. And the most important thing to tell now, in 2022, is that in the past I used here a bicycle lamp. 
that was 6 volt at 0 0.6 watt but I made the whole circuit again and found that uh, with other uh, bicycle lamps of 6 volts at uh, 0 0.6 watt the whole thing did not want to oscillate so that's a big pain for me and the solution proved to be to skip the bicycle lamp here and connect here a wire wound uh, potentiometer not a, pot uh, not a fixed value resistor but a potentiometer of 100 ohms so wire wound potentiometer of 100 ohms and then you can set the uh, output uh, sine wave perfectly of course the idea of this lamp was to say uh, get a kind of amplitude control uh, when you study uh, the principles of sine wave oscillators on the world wide web etc etc or in books you will always see that the amplification factor for such a sine wave oscillator is very very critical and that's also seen here when you mount here this potentiometer of um, 100 ohms between this electrode and that electrode there is there's only a very very precise position where the whole circuit starts to oscillate but when it oscillates it's completely okay so let me show that I have now uh, on my workbench the whole circuit that I've made during the past wee week uh, uh, this is the amplifier uh, I'm not going to show that uh, this amplifier is a simple audio amplifier that amplifies uh, 20 Hertz up to 33 kilohertz and there is on my youtube channel here um, that circuit and perhaps i will give the link etc etc uh, power supply here here a spare lamp but uh, the most important thing is that we have here here that i hope i can point to it here we have that 100 ohms wire wound potentiometer with which you can set the uh, ohms resistance between approximately 30 ohms and approximately 60 ohms and that is say the range where the oscillator wants to work and of course here I've made this uh, this part to say screw a, a lamp in but um, the solution of this 100 R 100 ohm wire wound potentiometer is in my opinion the best way to do it and it's only a flaw perhaps I will publish this schematic in the future uh, say I am more or less banned by YouTube when I wanted to say give critical comments on COVID issues uh, they didn't answer uh, my uh, commands were deleted etc etc but anyway this is only electronics in a certain way only electronics anyway uh, here is the frequency switch 
with which you can uh, switch in different capacitors between uh, the collectors and the emitters of the circuit. This is perhaps important to tell. Here is a 0.47 microfarad capacitor and it acts to say disconnect the whole unit here, the whole uh, sine wave generator from the earth. It must be 400 volts of course, uh, especially when you want to do more serious experiments. So with this switch here, DC ground on off, you can connect the ground minus of the uh, sine wave generator to ground or switch that off and in that case the ground of the sine wave generator is connected via a 0.47 microfarad capacitor to ground. Kind of safety, especially want you, when you want to do experiments with electronic circuits like I do it every day. Anyway, um, frequency switch. These capacitors are, by, by the way, ceramic capacitors. They work better on higher uh, frequencies, but on the other hand, they are temperature sensitive. Something to take in account, and here there is a kind of bridge of three capacitors here. One microfarad. 100 microfarad, 10 microfarad, and there are two of them. Watch the schematic. Uh, that do the job. But uh, I found, for instance, that on the low frequencies, lower frequencies, uh, the say the scales did not match. So I made a kind of compensation electrolytic and so that's here 200 hertz compensation electrolytic not electrolytic sorry that's completely <laughs> not okay but um, non-polar capacitors that bridged here between the basis of the first transistor and the emitter of the second transistor, uh, say to give it a kind of fixed capacitance, but anyway, you can switch it off, and when you switch it off, you have, of course, the complete range between approximately 4 hertz and 33 kilohertz. Um, well, this is the end amplifier. I must work on that. It is a very, very simple end amplifier to say lift up the 2 volt AC output of the sine wave generator to approximately 8 volts here. And of course, uh, in such a case, when you want to do serious experiments, the output capacitors must be, say, approximately one microfarad at 400 volts. That's done here. Input capacitors approximately 500 nanofarad at 500 volts, etc, etc. And perhaps I'm going to show the definite schematic, but anyway, you can buy uh, on AliExpress uh, such a sine wave generator for um, 10 dollars or 10 euros or so, but this is the more serious way to do it. And uh, with such a cheap sine wave generator, uh, the risk of damaging it when you do serious experiments is, in my opinion, extremely high, especially when you have a ground fault.
anyway. Thanks for watching. Frequency switch, etc., etc. Uh, by the way, that's perhaps what I want to tell. Uh, we have here 33 uh, uh, kilohertz, 15 kilohertz. You can set the pureness with that potentiometer. You can see it here. It changes from a kind of square wave to a sine wave. So here, 15 or 14 kilohertz. And well, switch the frequency down. Now we are on 1.9 kilohertz. Uh, and you can see you can adapt the pureness of the waveform very, very easily. Now we are on approximately 495 hertz. Good waveform, by the way. And uh, well, the lowest position is approximately 19 hertz. And of course, you have to say uh, set the potentiometer here. 1k potentiometer in the schematic to such a position where the waveform is pure. And that's simply possible here. You can see it here. This is a pure waveform on approximately 19.6 Hz. Thanks for watching.